1027 Breakfast, and once again, Hot Cares this morning. And we are going to be speaking to Patrick, our man on the ground. He's been out and about, Patrick Hayworth. And this morning, he's actually gone to meet a lady called Nadine and her son, Jared. Good morning, Patrick. And this morning, like you say, yeah, we're out in the West Rand. We're out in Discovery, or Discovery, <laughs> if you're a normal person. Um, and, uh, like, man, you know, we walked into this home, and you could just absolutely feel the warmth. You could feel the love. Uh, we've met an incredible family. I'm going to hand over to Nadine Parkey. Have a word with her. She's the mum of the home, uh, and she's dying to speak to you, Anthony. Good morning, Nadine. How are you? Good morning. I'm fabulous. How are you? We very well, thank you. Now, listen, we have uh, had a story in from Marion. I think you might know Marion. My sister, yes. Yes. <laughs> She's told us all about you and uh, and your beautiful son, Jared. Now, we know that, uh, that, that Jared is autistic and uh, obviously has challenges. Tell us a little bit about Jared and, and living with autism. I don't even know where to start. It, it's a roller coaster. Jared being our first child, um, you know, as new parents, we already didn't know what was going on and what to expect. Um, and then when Jared was diagnosed with autism, it made a lot Mommy. of sense. Mommy, what? I can fly to there. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it, it made a lot of sense because um, not being your typical one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, mm. and not understanding why he's not talking, why he's not interacting. Mm. You know, um, myself, I think like very many other moms, compare their kids to other kids, mm. you know, the same age. Yeah. And you think, what's what's going on? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Um, and then when we did get his um, diagnosis, Mommy. a lot made sense. And then you start questioning yourself, what did I do wrong? Not what am I doing wrong? What did I do wrong? And and you go through the motions. And, and um, once you get to a point where it's that it, there's nothing that you could have done to prevent this and you start moving forward and helping and um you know seeking out the support that is out there for moms and families and children with autism and getting him the help he needs and teaching him how he is supposed to be taught it does make it a lot easier but it's it's still has very many challenges socially interactively um you know going to the shops is a challenge because other people patrons around you will just see your child having a temper tantrum um where it could be the lights in the shops that are yeah. just too bright for him and yeah. he's having a meltdown yeah. and it's it's it is challenging in all ways i'm so glad that you've come to a place where you know that it's not your fault um, but it is something that we, you have to kind of figure out a way to move forward regardless of what other people see when you know Jared is in those overwhelming states so talk us through a little bit of um, what his particular issue is I see it's written here SPD his sensory processing disorder how does that make life for Jared so with his sensory processing disorder, he is seven sensory sensitive. And I didn't even know you had seven senses Neither in did my I. 35 <laughs> years of life. You know, it was just your your um, taste, touch, hear, smell, sight. He also, um, his inner senses, his vestibular, tectacular. So he um, kind of loses himself in space. And he's <laughs> that... Yeah, and then he will start spinning um, uncontrollably without getting dizzy just so that he can feel his body in space again. So it's almost like vertigo where you are like dizzy on the inside, but um, he needs deep pressure. Like if he if he's overwhelmed, you know, just distracting him doesn't work. We actually take like a massive yoga ball and roll it down his body so that it, it calms him. You can see a physical calmness coming from like deep pressure on his muscles mm. and giving him big bear hugs. So the, I mean, with the sensory processing, it's all um, when the lights are too bright, it overwhelms him. When the sounds are too loud, it overwhelms him. When the tastes are too much, it 
overwhelms him. And it looks like a temper tantrum, but it is a actual meltdown. Mm. And meltdowns are not controllable for children like Jared. Now from from Marion, that you are a person who always uh, sees the... You're a glass, a glass half full. You always see the brighter side of life. You, you're obviously a very patient person as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about your health. So... Um, my husband and I have been trying for uh, another another baby, which hasn't happened. We've been trying for three years. So earlier this year in January, I had a miscarriage and I went to the doctor. And, you know, with, you know, all miscarriages, they do a scan and all that. We discovered that I had a endometriosis, a teratoma on my ovary. I was then sent to a specialist and she said, no, we, we have to take it out. I go to, uh, it had nothing, I suffer from migraines. Right. So she's like, the teratoma has, because it's come back benign, it's there's, it's got nothing to do with the migraines. I'm referring you to a physician mm. um, just to check on the migraines and that. So the physician noticed a, a visible lump in my neck, which I know three years ago, um, I had a thyroid nodule, but it was tiny and the neurologist said nothing to worry about. But this physician was like, well, I can see it. Mm. We need to go and have it sonar. So we go, go and have it sonar. No. They come back. No, it also needs to be biopsied. So we have it biopsied. It comes back malignant. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what do we do first? Both doctors, so gynecologist and the physician, they both have a chat. They're like, it has to come out. Uh, they both have to come out. Everything's messing with, uh, you know, hormones. So, yeah, we then, within a week of each other, we cut the teratoma off the ovary and discovered that my endometriosis is not just on the uterus. It's on the ureters, the kidney, the bladder. Mm. Um, and it's it's spreading. It's spreading. Um, the thyroid um, tumor, stunning doctor Donald Gordon, he cut it out um, and I've gone back for tests afterwards. He got it all and we, and, and he would like to say that I'm in the clear, but I do have to go for another PET scan um, in a couple of months just to make sure that a little cell didn't escape and uh, you know go sleep somewhere but we're positive and we're confident that it's it's completely gone you're a strong lady and I'm... Uh, well it's it's definitely gone and I just get emotional because oh, it, it was a lot but I'm here and I'm here to tell the story so Hey, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> and we hope you'll be here for a long, long time. Now, I know that we have sort of asked you quite a few questions and we've sent Patrick down there under the guise of just coming around to, you know, sort of find out about Jared. But in actual fact, we want to Ooh. do a little bit of good stuff for you because I think that you've had a hard year. Uh, here at Hot 1027, we like to care for the people that live in our city. That's what we do. And... Oh. There's a gentleman beside you. He's from Silver Star Casino, and they like to pay it forward, and they're our partners today. Uh, his name is... Dion Basson. Dion, good morning. Hi, Bunny. Hi, Pocky. Hello, Dion. You've heard the story about this lovely lady and her family, and uh, you know, as well as I do, that we're going to make a difference this coming Christmas. Do you want to have a chat and tell us exactly what we're going to do? Okay, so Nadine Stewart, um, you know, we are very humble to be welcomed into your home and to experience the love, your family for for Jared between the two of you. And you know, we've 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 seen uh, all the support that you guys have had. And you know, with Silver Star Pays Forward and our friends at Hot Cares, we'd also like to just help out a little bit. And um, what we have done is we've purchased a sensory swing and wall set to be installed into Jared's playroom so that you guys can also have some assistance with that and then um, in addition to that we know the tests there's a recent uh, blood test that's uh, to the value of 7,000 rand we're going to settle that bill for you and then 
for the last one, seeing it being Christmas and the festive season, we're also going to give you a 10,000 Rand shopping centre voucher so that you guys can have a, a Merry Christmas and a, a blessed festive season as you guys so richly deserve. So just from our side, well done, you know, all the best for the future. And, you know, I hope, you know, it just goes from strength to strength from you. Thank you very thank you much. Very that much. is beyond generous. And thank you. Thank you so much. It's a big pleasure. It's from us at Silver yeah. Star Pays Forward and our friends at Art Cares, um, you know, so deserving, so thoroughly deserving. And, you know, we hope you can share it with your loving family that, that's, that's got you <laughs> to this point. We definitely, definitely will. Nadine, there's good, yeah, there's good people out there. I can hear Jared is happy, and I hope that you are. And <laughs> that one little cell that you're worried about, don't you worry about that, okay? Be positive. No. Yeah, I plan to be. It's going to be a good day, a good Christmas, and 2024 is definitely our year.